Hello bookworms, welcome to the Weekend Readers Book Club, thank you for joining us. In this episode we discuss the 1996 or 7 released novel entitled Sex and the City by Candace Bushnell. Now, grabbing the book at a book fair, I assumed that this was going to be a novel per se, it would tell you the story of Kerry and her fellow friends that make up the TV show Sex in the City, and this was the book that the TV show was based on. Now, this book is not a novel per se. There is no main character and story throughout. It is just basically separate inserts that I later found out were stories that were written for a newspaper so every chapter is a different story and there's while there is continuation throughout the book there is no continuation a la a typical novel fiction that you would read so it makes it very disorientating to read especially when the subject matter doesn't really interest you which was the case for myself reading this book I got a sense of, okay, I can see how the TV show adapted this into what became Sex in the City, the TV show, but reading it from a reader's perspective with no understanding really of the TV show, I found this book very hard to read. And it's weird because there is no plot to this book, it's just stories individual chapters of individual stories about individual people doing socialite things in New York. Now as you can tell through already that I, I didn't enjoy this read. That is correct. I didn't enjoy the book. It took me off guard in relation to how it came across, especially when I got about four chapters in and I was going, hold up, I thought this was happening because this happened in this and the first chapter, but there's no correlation to chapter two, three, or four. So it was very confusing. But what I did enjoy with this book was the correlation to reading it. I could, it read like a separate episode of a TV show per each chapter. So I was intrigued by that because whoever came up with the idea to adapt this book into a TV show, genius. But from a reading perspective, I didn't enjoy this book at all. And it's funny because I have a friend of mine, hello Brian, who asked me once, have you started a book with this podcast where you're just like, no, I'm out, I don't want to complete this book, and just put it down and moved on to the next one. And I said to him that, no, I haven't, because for me, I'm just wanting to expand my genre of what I enjoy reading, and the only way to do that is to go in and try something new. And with the 22 books that I've read this year with the Weekend Readers podcast, I would say the closest I had came to that was when I read... The Wizard of Oz. However, reading Sex in the City, I did get to about the fifth chapter and I was like, I really just want to throw this book away because it wasn't my cup of tea. Now, there are people out there who who read this book and go, this is an awesome book. I get that. that. That's awesome that you feel that way. But for me and my taste, unfortunately, I was disconnected with the story. And unfortunately, the material and the subject matter for that, it just wasn't for me. So this would, I would have to say, Brian, that this book here, Sex in the City, would have been the one where I would have put it down and moved on. So with that review, the question is, will this book be going on to my bookshelf? You already know the answer to that. Absolutely not. As I've said, I felt disconnected to this book. However, I was intrigued more on the adaption side of things of this book into a TV show. So, I mean, I will be putting this book into the box to donate and hopefully somebody else will be able to pick it up and hopefully get some enjoyment out of that. So, 
as a customs here with the Weekend Readers Book Club. As one book closes, another book has to open. But we can confirm that this is the last book that we have read for 2021. Yes, in total we read 22 books this year. And this was our final one. So there is no next read at the moment. So I would just like to take this time and thank everybody that has listened, be it via Spotify or any other podcast player, or even via YouTube. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to listening to our episodes. I mean, it's 10 minutes, but I mean, that's 10 minutes that you could be doing something else. But you've allowed me to come into your life and discuss what I discuss with the Weekend Readers podcast. So thank you very much. So bookworms. Until next time, feel free to follow us. We're on Instagram, Weekend Readers Book Club, YouTube, The Weekend Readers. Thank you very much again for taking the time out to listen to to my book reviews. And with that, bookworms, happy reading and happy holidays.